Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsbyHeather.com, where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this Q&A video, I'm going to address cropping inside of Photoshop, but first, make sure you check out my free video series available on my website. This week's question comes from Jamie and she writes, I received the following requirements for submitting yearbook senior photos. Could you please help me achieve this? Two and a quarter by three and a quarter or two and a half by three and a half headshot should measure approximately one and a quarter to one and a half inches from hairline to chin. In a previous video, we addressed this inside of Lightroom, but we ran up against a constraint and that, that is we were not able to measure the hairline to chin because Lightroom does not have rulers. So I wanted to show you how to do this inside of Photoshop. First, what you want to do is access your crop tool by pressing C on your keyboard. And then what we're going to do is put in these very specific dimensions inside of the width and height. We're going to type in two and a half and you have to make sure you specify inches by three and a half inches. And if you leave the resolution blank, it will just maintain the current resolution. So now we can go ahead and just click and drag and reposition to crop this photo. Let's try this and press enter or return to commit this change. I'm going to press Command plus or Control plus just to zoom in. I'm going to press my space bar and hold it to access the pan tool. And what I'm going to do is grab the ruler tool. The ruler tool is I on your keyboard, but it is typically buried underneath of the eyedropper tool. In order to access it, you can simply use your mouse to click it, or you can hold down Shift and press I multiple times in order to access the ruler tool. And what you can do with this tool is click on our hairline, Hold down shift in order to constrain it to a vertical line and measure hairline to chin. And so what I notice in the height is it says 1.478. So that's about an inch and a half from her hairline to her chin. And the yearbook specifications were an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half from hairline to chin. So this works perfectly. This would be a great photo for the yearbook. Let's try this again with another photo. Press C on your keyboard in order to access your crop tool. You'll notice that the width and height are still in the tool options. Now you have to be careful with this. Those are sticky settings. And if you go to use the crop tool in the future and you do not wish to crop to two and a half by three and a half inches, which you probably don't, then I would recommend hitting clear on these tool options in order to remove those settings. But let's go ahead and click and drag in order to crop this photo and reposition. Press enter or return to commit. Command or Control Plus to zoom in, space bar to pan, click and drag. Let's grab that ruler tool again, starting from her hairline. Click, hold down Shift, and drag to her chin. And this says 1.78. So this is a little too large. I probably cropped in too much. What can you do? Well, you could Command Option Z in order to undo. That's Control Alt Z on the PC. Command or Control minus to zoom out. What I'm going to do is crop that again, but this time I'm going to just leave myself a little more room. I had obviously come in too close on her face. So let's try about here. Enter or return to commit. Command or Control plus. The ruler tool, eye on your keyboard, holding down Shift. Now we have 1.6. And that's pretty close to 1.5, one and a half. It says one and a quarter to one and a half from the hairline to the chin. Um, I don't know that the yearbook committee is going to measure this like we are because we're a bunch of pixel peepers. So I, I would be happy with this and I would submit this photo. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.